Hi, I'm Eyewitness News Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello. We are drying out, but the wind's going to be picking up today. There's the area of low pressure going to be moving offshore. The wind's turning to the west-northwest, and we're going to get some gusts over 40 miles per hour. Wind advisory starting now and going to last into the night. It's set to expire at 1 a.m. on Friday. We're not expecting widespread damage due to these winds, but there could be some isolated wind damage. Uh, reports or even some power outages. You can see those sustained winds through the afternoon, noon, and 2 p.m. Uh, sustained between 20 and 25 miles per hour with those higher gusts. Noontime temperatures, not bad for a January day, mid to upper 40s, but it's going to feel cooler with the winds and that cold air will start to get transported in on those gusty winds. So you can see at 5 o'clock in the evening, back to the upper 30s, a couple of flurries or sprinkles coming through, and then tonight clear and turning much colder. Let's track that cold air from a wider view here and across New England. You can see those temperatures dropping to the single digits and teens Friday morning. We're going to be cold and dry Friday. Those winds will be gusty all day long and the temperatures will be running below normal. So six o'clock this evening wind chills are in the 20s. Those by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning near zero and those wind chills will uh, make it only up into the upper single digits and lower teens in the afternoon. All right, so cold again Saturday morning and dry initially. I have the snow moving in between 3 and 6 p.m. Warmer air is going to eventually win out. So after a few hours of wintry weather, a changeover from sleet to rain expected, first at the coastline and then further inland. That will hold down the accumulations for us here in southern New England. Northern New England, I get about 6 to 12 inches of snow from that storm, much less around here. Currently thinking an inch or two away from the coastline, closer to a coating along the shore. In our three-day forecast after Saturday and Sunday, cold air coming back. You can get all that on the detailed weather page at WPRI.com.